What's going on YouTube? I'm gonna make this video because uh, I feel like I need to reach out and talk to somebody about what's been going on in my house. I know this is totally out of my element. I'm normally doing reviews on electronics, uh, specifically Android, um, anything related to the Android and phones. So this is a first for me. It's just uh, a lot of stuff has been going on since my wife and I bought our house back in October. This is an old photo of our house. Our house was built in 1890. Um, since the you know the first day we moved into our house, uh, we've been noticing some strange things going on. Starting actually with the first day we moved in. Now this is an old house. If you can picture an old house, uh, the doors inside the house, how they don't close all the way. Um, they don't. Some of the doors actually don't even have door knobs. They're kind of like a. It looks like a um, an iron uh, kind of. It's like a handle. It doesn't have a door knob. So, due to the age of the house and the shifting, some of the doors, you know, won't seal shut. So, we, you know, my wife has three cats, and I don't like them in the bedroom because they lay in the bed and at night I can't breathe because of the dander. So, once we got everything moved in, this is back in October. So we get everything moved in, and I, I install the hook and eye thing on the door. It's uh, it's kind of like a lock, so when we go into the bedroom at night, we can put the latch over, and the cats can't get in. So I get that installed, the bed's in, the, the TV's moved upstairs. I, uh, I go downstairs, have lunch, maybe a half an hour passed by. Some, uh, some more stuff had to be moved upstairs. My wife was piling everything at the bottom of the stairs, so I took the boxes and I went upstairs and I go to open the door. The thing's locked shut. I'm like, what the heck? I call down to my wife. I say, honey, did you lock the door? And she said, no, I haven't been up there. I've just been piling stuff by the stairs. I'm like, all right. How the heck did this door get closed? So I'm trying to push the door and I'm thinking there's no way it can be locked you know how in the hell could somebody lock the door we did have a couple of movers but they didn't go upstairs alone the only time they were up there is when they moved the mattress up with me the bedroom I'm talking about is right up here that's all one bedroom from pretty much there over it's one bedroom so these windows right here are super small and these ones that's a pretty uh pretty big drop I doubt somebody would go in there lock the door and jump out so I had to push the door super hard I got a, um, a coat hanger from some of the clothes that we moved into the closet and I wedged the coat hanger in the door and I I worked it so I unlatched the door so that was the the first sign so to speak of events that have uh, happened at this house you know just uh the the feeling that you get when you walk into this house it's i don't know it's kind of creepy on the property there's an old slaughterhouse across the street the the previous owner of the house that i'm living in he, he um he actually committed suicide he thought that his dog was possessed by the devil and he he worked inside the slaughterhouse he thought his dog was possessed by the devil he killed his dog with a shotgun and then he took the the gun on himself and throughout the house if you look carefully you can see there are about four bullet holes one going through my front door and there are two upstairs and there's another in the foyer area there's a total of four that I found so that was a little bit disturbing you see upon buying this house we saved a little bit of money by going the route of not getting the disclosure you know I'm I regret doing it um, at this point you know I wish I could go back in time spend the extra money um, for a full disclosure um, because finding out after the fact it's 
you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. so whatever. The, the gentleman who owned the house before the man who killed himself, he actually died in a freak accident working at this slaughterhouse. He was pulling, I think he was, um, he was pulling something with a truck. He had a tow chain. It happened right over here. The tow chain snapped and it, you know, came back at him and it pretty much went right through his head. So, you know, it's, uh, it's really creepy and it gets even creepier because the person before that died in a car accident wrapped around, you know, wrapped around a tree a mile down the road. So the past three people that have lived in this house have died in crazy, crazy circumstances. Um, throughout the, the, the months that we've been here, you know, uh, we've been here since October. We had the getting locked out of the room thing and, you know, at, at night, we hear noises at night. Um, noises never really bothered me that much because in my grandparents' house, I think their house was haunted. I used to hear things at night and no, I know nobody was up. You know, out here walking around, out here talking, but you can never make out exactly what they're talking about. And the same thing's been going on here. Noises, you know, if I was alone in the house, I'd be probably a little bit more freaked out than what I am. But, you know, I'm here with my wife, and we have a newborn, too, so that makes me a little uneasy. I was at work about, oh, I would say two months ago. My wife came home. She went shopping. She she comes home. She puts the groceries in the kitchen. She left my son in the dining room. So, um, after she put the groceries away, she went to give my son his bottle. She feeds him the bottle, and she goes back in the kitchen, and she almost drops my son. She's so freaked out. Um, she said that all the kitchen chairs were stacked on top of one another in the kitchen. Now, this is something that you'd see straight out of a, you know, a horror movie, or one of those paranormal activity videos. It's... It's something so strange, but yet it's so freaky. I didn't get to see it, but she described it as the the most scariest thing she's ever seen in her life. And the weird thing is she said that there was a broom going through the the runs of the chairs. Like, uh, there were three chairs stacked on top of one another, and the very top chair had a, a broom going through the runs. You know, I don't know what that's about, but... I told her, honey, you should have gotten photos of this. And, you know, she just said, uh, I was freaking out. I didn't know what to do. She called her mother. She immediately put the chairs back in their places. And she left. She went over to her mother's. So, that was, you know, not the most uh, recent event. Something else has happened. Uh, this about a week after the chair incident. Um, we had gotten a new TV and a new camera. You can see the television here that we got. It's a, a 3D TV. Uh, you know, I was taking some photos of the TV, how I have it set up, and I was testing out the camera. As you can see in this photo, in this door frame right here, there, there's nothing in the frame. And we can look at this next photo right here, and we can see there's an object in the door frame. It's a little bit past the door frame, how it looks. Um, you can see it again here. And here is a photo that I zoomed in on, and this is the best image I can get. And, you know, I, I do know what it is floating in the picture. It's a brass fitting for a propane tank. I went out and I got a propane grill. And there were a few times I ran out of propane. And I have the small little propane tanks um, to use as a spare. But in order to use those, you need a fitting. So I went out and I got this fitting. I got it at Walmart. Walmart. There goes my, my dog. You know, like he barks just randomly. and it's uh, I'll go out and he'll be staring at the wall. No one else is in the house right now.
it's a uh, I don't know. It's really creepy. I hope somebody can uh, help me out with this. But anyways, this fitting, I have it right here. This fitting is pretty heavy. It probably weighs close to a pound. It's solid brass. You know, I'll drop it and... You see how heavy that is? It's not light. I don't know what the significance of, of this is. I do know that, I don't know if I was supposed to capture this, if, he, if this uh, entity wanted to get caught. I, I don't know. But it wasn't until maybe a week after um, these photos were taken that I actually noticed this. So I immediately went and, you know, to try and find my propane uh, adapter. It wasn't where I had left it. It was actually right in the room. Um, as if it had fallen straight down right next to the laundry basket. The laundry basket is right around this corner. I don't think we can see it here. No. So, there it was. I went and grabbed the camera. I snapped a photo of it. It's uh, it's getting to the point where stuff is getting out of control. I don't know if it's because we're a little, you know, um, we're renovating the house little by little. We're right now we're doing the kitchen. I ripped up the floor of the kitchen. Um, I'm burning the the old wood floor outside. There's a a butler's pantry that's in the kitchen. I ripped out the cabinets to that. I'm making uh, I'm putting all new cabinets in, and right off the kitchen there's a pretty deep closet that I gutted the inside of that and I'm, I'm re-sheet rocking it. I don't know if all of this is making this entity upset and something just fell in the house. I don't know what it was. I don't know if you heard that. But I don't, can you hear that? There was just footsteps. All right. Um, if somebody can shed some light on this, um, it would be great. I'm just looking for uh, an answer to this. You know, uh, it's really scary having a newborn in the house and to have this stuff going on. The thing hasn't been violent yet. God forbid um, something was to get violent. I don't know what I would do. So I've never uh, experienced anything like this before. So, if you have any uh, insight you would like to shed on this, please comment in the section below. I'll keep you guys updated. All you have to do is just subscribe to my channel. You'll get my updates. Most of my videos are about, uh, you know, electronics and, you know, Android phones. But, you know, you don't have to watch my videos. If you just uh, want to subscribe just to keep updated on this, then, you know, you could do that. But, you know, thanks for checking out my video. Um, alright, you know, I'll keep you guys updated. Have a good night, guys. Take care.